But yeah, we do screen printing. We got, we upgraded to that now. We got the automatic machine. We do vinyl. Now we moved into the sublimation territory as well. I think it was four station. I started with that just to figure out because when I came to this business, I was coming here to take over the embroidery side because my father-in-law was doing embroidery. He's been doing it for 30 years. And when he came, he just introduced me to the screen printing side first and recommend that I look into the screen printing. So that's how I started. No, I mean, honestly, we, we treat our customers like how we want to be treated. And if there's something bad, even, you know, if you're printing 100 shirts, there might be one shirt that's bad, right? Mm. Th it's going to happen. But we put that all the way to the top. You know, we don't put it on the middle. We don't try to hide it. We put it all the way on the top. And then we show that customer this is the mistake that we ran into. So this is the one. But we always reprint that one. But we give them as just to let them know that you could check everything, but we always put our mistakes on the top if there is a mistake. See, I bought the Epson F2100 first. Mm -hmm. And then once I bought that, I wanted to see if there's something better out there because, you know, the better quality and I started researching and I guess Omni does a lot of a good promotional videos. So as soon <laughs> as sure. I seen that, I'm like, oh, wow, this is great. Let me see if I could get that. And then I got one to test it out. And for t-shirt, it was good. You know, it, the quality was good. It was good, but it was too slow. Like it was too slow. And after that, but the quality was good now. You know, it wasn't bad. So I bought two more mm -hmm. to see because it, the, just one, it was just too slow. I wasn't <laughs> making any money. Right. So I bought two more. And then, so now I have three. From my personal experience, mm -hmm. like it's not made for hoodies, it's not made for, it's just strictly t-shirt. And the time that it goes in, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. No, there's really no secret. It's, we try to give them the best quality. So a lot of times we're going through five, six shirts to get the best print. And then once we get the best print, that's when we proceed. So. If we don't like that image, I know our customer's not going to like it. Even though whatever image that they bring us, that's what they wanted us to print. I still would print the test run to make sure. And if we don't like it, then we will fix the designs or we will do whatever, you know, to make sure it looks good. Then we start printing. So they're coming, I think it's because of the quality. Yeah, the in cost, honestly, the Epson is high compared to Omni. Yes. But to me, time, is more valuable than the cost of the ink. So if I could cut the cost on the Omni, but it prints, let's say it takes five, six minutes to print one shirt and the Epson is taking two minutes. I'd rather you know, buy the ink for a little bit more because the, my turnaround time is so much faster and so much better than the Omni. Like Omni, I could print maybe average. I'm printing, it takes me about seven to eight minutes and a good detailed work with Epson, it takes me half of that time. So I could print two shirts when Omni could print one. I mean, maybe it's a little different because I have your personal contact. So it's easy for me to reach out to you. You know what I mean? And I'd rather deal with one person than a multiple person that I don't know. And every time I call, I always gotta, you know, like explain all over again. But with you, you already know what's going on. You text me back, you do a team viewer. So you, if I don't have time, you do it for me. So it's very convenient and it's very helpful because when you're trying to run a business, like sometimes I don't have a time to sit there and you know troubleshoot whatever you're telling me to do. But when you sometimes you just take over my computer and do everything and leave and that's it, like it's, it's fixed. The downfall on the Omni was when you run into a problem, like Epson, when I call them, next day they will ship the parts and the day after, the technician's already out here and they're fixing it. With Omni, it takes me days and days to get in touch with them and once I do, they want me to do a video chat or over the phone. So that's taking my time out of my you know schedule to sit there and follow one step at a time and do what they need and then it's just they're okay and then once you purchase the equipment after that like you do not hear from them like it's hard for me to reach out to them so that was my main reason why i went towards epson because epson like they're always here you know that's that was my main reason why i bought another three honestly like we were busy from day one so it didn't affect us at all. Like we got, if anything, we got busier 
not slower. Like we we print. I mean, you see our DTG machines running seven. I mean, six days a week. So it never stops unless we're off for the day. My goal is to provide our customers. It doesn't matter if it's one. It doesn't matter if it's hundred or two hundred. Within two days, like they will get their shipment. You know what I mean? Like I don't want them to wait a week, a week and a half. Like you know, it's like now with four Epsons, like we are actually within, even if it's 150, 200, even 300, within next day, like we're providing that. This is just the beginning, you know, it's been a year and a half and we haven't even hit the two year mark. So this is just the beginning. So another two years from now, then yeah, we'll be in a, I think we'll be in totally differently than what we are now.